President Biden tapping Vice President Harris to lead the new White House Office of Gun Violence Prevention. President Biden says that he's tired of waiting for Congress to take action on gun control. Meanwhile, the clock is ticking on another possible government shutdown, and there is revolt among House Republicans. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House following it all. Ben. Well, Nicole and Calvin, we'll get to that potential shutdown in just a bit. But first, as you were talking about, the White House just took action to prevent gun violence. Right now, 120 Americans are killed every day by guns as this new office aims to change that. I'm proud to announce the creation of President Joe Biden in the Rose Garden Friday to announce the first ever White House Office of Gun Violence Prevention. will help rally the nation with a sense of urgency and seriousness of purpose. Biden says this action aims to help reduce the nation's epidemic of gun violence as the new office will be led by Stephanie Feldman, a longtime policy advisor on gun issues and overseen by Vice President Harris. Our nation is being torn apart by the tragedy of it all and torn apart by the fear and trauma that results from gun violence. Fred Guttenberg, whose daughter Jamie was killed in the 2018 Stoneman Douglas massacre, was invited to D.C. for the remarks, saying this is a serious team ready to do the serious work of reducing gun violence and saving lives. This year alone, the U.S. has seen more than 500 mass shootings, which is defined as four or more people shot at one time. Whenever you set up a special office with a specialty in one specific thing, it means that it is extremely important. Also important to the White House is a bill to avoid a government shutdown as Republicans still cannot agree on a way forward on a spending bill. The Biden administration is now contacting federal agencies to make sure they have an updated contingency plan should lawmakers fail to pass legislation. We will continue to work with people. I just believe if you're not funding the troops and you're not funding the border, it's pretty difficult to think that you're going to win in a shutdown. I've been through those a couple of times. Now the federal government does run out of money on September 30th, so lawmakers have about a week to try and strike a deal. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Ben, thank you.